Hey guys, welcome to the video today. In today's video, I'm going to show you five common reasons why your check engine light might be on. Then I'm going to show you how to find out exactly why it's on. So if your check engine light is on, this is the video for you. Let's take a look now at one of the possible causes. All right, so one of the possible reasons that your check engine light is on is because of the MAF sensor. And this is what the MAF sensor looks like in my 2006 Toyota Corolla. The MAF sensor is responsible for measuring the amount of air that is entering the engine. Some of the possible uh, symptoms that you might be having if you have a bad MAF sensor is your vehicle may be hard to start or it may stall out. Okay, let's take a look at the next possible reason that your check engine light is on. Okay, so another reason that your check engine light might be on is because of the catalytic converter. The catalytic converter is part of the exhaust system and it's responsible to convert toxic gases and pollutants into less toxic gases and pollutants. And some of the symptoms of a bad catalytic converter include poor engine performance and reduced acceleration. Okay, so another possible reason that your check engine light is on is because of your O2 sensor. And my 2006 Toyota Corolla has two O2 sensors. Um, these are responsible for measuring the unburned oxygen in your exhaust system. And a possible symptom of a bad O2 sensor is bad gas mileage. On my 2006 Toyota Corolla, there's one behind the valve cover and then there is one underneath the car. Let me show you those now. Okay, here is one of the O2 sensors on my 2006 Toyota Corolla. And there is the other O2 sensor on my 2006 Toyota Corolla. Okay, so another possible reason why your check engine light is on is because of an issue with a spark plug or an ignition coil. And on my 2006 Toyota Corolla, the spark plug and ignition coils are underneath the valve cover here is how you get access to them. Um, the spark plug produces a spark which ignites the air fuel mixture and possible symptoms of a bad spark plug or ignition coil are misfires or a rough idle. Um, okay, let's go ahead and move on to the next possible reason that your check engine light is on. All right, so another possible reason that your check engine light is on is because of your fuel cap. If it didn't get put back on correctly or the gasket inside here is damaged or cracked or broken, it may be allowing for a vacuum leak. Um, so you, this is an easy one to check. Just look at the gasket on the inside of the fuel cap there and make sure that it's in good shape and then make sure that your fuel cap gets put back on properly. Okay, so now that we've talked about five common reasons why your check engine light is on, let's talk about how to find out exactly why your check engine light is on. This is an OBD2 code reader. You can get these online or in stores. There's a range of prices on them, but there's plenty on the inexpensive side, and they will work with most vehicles that are 1996 and newer. And when you hook this up to your vehicle, it will retrieve the trouble codes that are triggering the check engine light. Um, so then you can identify exactly what's going on with your vehicle. Let me show you how to hook this up to my 2006 Toyota Corolla, and we'll read the trouble codes that are stored inside my Toyota Corolla's onboard computer. Okay, so on my 2006 Toyota Corolla, the OBD2 port is on the driver's side underneath the dash. And this is what it looks like. And if you notice, the top is longer than the bottom and the sides are angled. So just make sure that you hook up your OBD2 reader the correct way. Let me hook up mine and I'll be back and I'll show you how to read the trouble codes. Okay, so once you have the OBD2 code reader hooked up, you do need to turn your vehicle to the on position. You don't need to start your vehicle up, but you do need it to the on position so it can communicate with the OBD2 code reader. And the menu option on this code reader that we want to go into is the diagnosis option. And right now it's communicating with the vehicle's onboard computer. It shouldn't take too long. 
Okay, and the first option we have there is read trouble code. So if we go in here, we have two options, read current code, read pending code, and we're just going to go into read current code. And then it tells us what the uh, trouble code is that's triggering the check engine light. And on my 2006 Toyota Corolla, uh, the trouble code I have is P0420, catalyst system efficiency below threshold bank one. Okay, so now that you know what your trouble code or trouble codes are, there may be multiple trouble codes that are triggering the check engine light, um, and your OBD2 code reader should tell you if there are multiple trouble codes. Um, you can go to the internet and do some research to find out what potential problems with your vehicle could be causing that trouble code. And for each trouble code, there are multiple things that could be triggering it. And then you can decide if it's something you want to try to repair yourself or if you want to bring to a mechanic to repair. And that's the great thing about having one of these code readers is if you do decide to bring it to a mechanic, you know ahead of time which trouble code is triggering your check engine light. So you can talk to them about the possible things that could be causing that um, trouble code and then what the repair prices are um, you know, for those types of fixes. Um, so this is a great tool to have whether you decide to repair the vehicle yourself or not. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Have a good one. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and if you have the time, check out these other great videos.